Allison Bennett. I'm going to show you how I play What Difference Does It Make by the Smiths. You're going to need a capo on the second fret, and guitar is tuned to standard with a little distortion. So there's two main parts, the verse and the chorus. Here's the verse played slowly. <laughs> thing about the verse is coming in at the right time. It starts on the and of beat one. So if you're going to count in, you can count one and two and three and four and one. So that first note comes right between beats one and two. Okay, so we are starting with fingers one and two on the second fret from the capo. It's the fourth actual fret of the guitar. You're pressing on strings four and three. You're gonna pluck the fifth string and the third string, the fifth string, then the fourth string. And I like to do this with alternate picking because it is faster. Then remove your second finger so that the third string is ringing out open. Pluck the fifth string and then the third string. Then put your second finger back down, pluck the fifth string and the third string two times. Take off your middle finger again, and then pluck fifth, fourth, fifth, third. So all together, this sounds like... second finger and do a hammer on from the fifth string open to the third fret and then pluck the string again after you've hammered on first finger comes to the third string second fret so from the hammer on then your first finger is going to come back to where it was on the fourth string second fret going to pluck the 5th string and then the 4th string and then the 5th string and the 3rd string so from the hammer on then we're going to move to a D sus 4 shape so, uh, sorry, D sus 2 shape we are on the 2nd uh, fret, 3rd string and the third fret second string plucking strings four three four two then we're going to move to the first finger on the fourth string second fret pluck fifth fourth fifth third fifth So from the D sus 2, then the whole thing starts over. And be sure to wait until the end of beat 1 to come in. repeats over and over again for the verse. So the next part is the chorus. Now this part is a little tricky because there's overdubbed guitars and other sounds on the recording. So I just figured out something that I thought sounded good to me. So here it is slowly. by 
sliding, you are on the actual frets of the guitar, seventh, eighth, and ninth. But uh, in relation to the capo, that's frets five, six, and seven. So you're gonna slide from about a whole step away. And so that was like a, a down, up, down. And then the pinky comes around, uh, pressing on the ninth fret, actual ninth fret. You just pluck that string. So that all together is. Then, do another slide, sliding up to the uh, 13th and 12th frets, actual frets of the fretboard. And uh, as you can see, I'm barring here on strings one and two, and then the second finger is on the 13th fret. So that was again, down, up, down. Then the pinky comes around to the 15th fret, second string, and just pluck that one by itself. So, uh, so far we've got The next one is um, it's an F sharp major chord, You're pressing on the ninth fret, fifth string. From the capo, it's the seventh fret, depending on how you want to look at it. And then you're barring with a third finger on the eleventh fret strings, four, three, and two. I kind of do a loose pattern here. It's not necessarily the same every time. It's kind of hard to hear on the recording. But uh, a strum on the lower portion of the chord, so maybe strings uh, five and four, and then uh, so that's two, three, four, two, three, four, two. But you don't have to be super strict about it. All of the notes are ringing out together. gonna go to a major bar, bar chord, an A major bar chord. You're on frets 5 on the 6th string, 7 and 7 on the 5th and 4th strings, 6th uh, fret on the 3rd string, and then barry down um, on the top two strings. So again you're on the 5th fret here, but it's the 3rd fret in relation to the capo. portion of the chord and then a muted up and then a down so that's all right so rewinding a little bit we're gonna go back here to the F sharp major chord oops I did a little differently and then you Go back to the top and repeat everything you just did. So that section's twice. Then we're going to the next section. Third finger is going to come to the sixth fret, fourth string. And then the first finger is barring on the fourth fret, strings three, two, and one. I just had to remind myself how I do that. So that strings four, two, four, one, two. And you know, if you hit the third string by accident, it still sounds good. Then we're going to go to um, so the first finger can stay down where it is. The pinky is going to come around to the seventh fret, second string. So you're plucking three, two, three, two. And then the pinky comes to the first string, seventh fret. Then third finger to the 
first string, sixth fret. All right, so, so far, um, after the first section happens twice, we're coming here. Then we do this again. Do it again. But instead of doing um, the that part, we're gonna go straight here. Seventh fret, barring on strings one and two. Then we are going to uh, fret six and seven, six and seven, and then again, which leads back to the main uh, verse. All right, so this second section all together. And that is the chorus. So that's it for what difference does it make. The verse is pretty straight ahead and you can really hear what's going on in the recording. The chorus is a little bit more loose. I might play it a little bit differently every time. So don't feel like you need to be super precise with the chorus. Um, I also wanted to mention there's another lead guitar part that's overdubbed at the end, but I never actually learned it because I'm the only guitarist in my band and I've got to hold down the main riff over the ending. So maybe I'll learn it someday, but I don't know it yet. So that's it. Thanks. See you next time.